Did the Federal Reserve just pull off a soft landing? All signs point to yes, thanks to today's jobs report. Now, this certainly doesn't mean we're out of the woods, but the jobs report released today definitely points us in the soft landing direction. And before you say these jobs numbers are a lie and they're just going to revise them next month, so who cares? I have some new information you'll want to hear. If, of course, you're actually open to hearing the facts and pushing your feelings to the side. So before I get into all those facts, I want to thank my subscribers for voting for this story as the bonus this week. If you want to vote too, make sure you're subscribed to my page during my next live event, or you can follow these steps and you can subscribe right now. Okay, so first, today the Labor Department released the September jobs report. It found U.S. employers added a whopping 254,000 jobs last month. That was significantly more than economists had been expecting and certainly more than we've seen in the last few months. In fact, it was the largest monthly increase in jobs being added to the payroll since March of 2024. On top of that, the unemployment rate dropped to 4.1%. So, where are all these new jobs coming from? According to the Labor Department, they were in the bar and restaurant industry, which added 69,000 jobs in September. The healthcare sector added 45,000 jobs, the government added 31,000 jobs, and the construction industry added 25,000 jobs, just to name a few. Now to your concerns about the revisions to these numbers, which I think is a lot of the reason why people are so skeptical of them. So it's absolutely a fact that these reports do get revised once more data comes in. I actually reported on the massive revision down of more than 800,000 fewer jobs than we initially heard about between March of 2023 and March of 2024 in this video back in August. So the jobs numbers I'm reporting today will likely get revised either down or up. And that's exactly what just happened for the July jobs report and the August jobs report. Both of those reports were revised up. The Labor Department says after more data came in in July, the initial report found 89,000 jobs were added. But after that data came in, the Labor Department reported today that the number was actually 144,000 jobs added. Same goes for August. The initial jobs report found 142,000 jobs were added that month but the Labor Department today reported the number was actually 159,000 new jobs. Now, let me quickly address this soft landing situation. As I've been reporting for years, a soft landing is when the Federal Reserve successfully brings down inflation without crashing the economy and causing a recession. It's a delicate dance that doesn't always work, but most economists will tell you that we might actually be witnessing a soft landing in real time right now. Here are the facts. Inflation peaked in June of 2022 when it hit 9.1%. At that time, the jobs market was also red hot with record numbers of employees quitting their jobs and more jobs open and available than workers to fill them. I covered all of that on this page. So to bring the economy back into balance, the Federal Reserve jacked up interest rates, which I obviously have also been covering. After more than a year of those really high rates as of last month, inflation was down to two and a half percent, which is almost the two percent goal the Federal Reserve has. But we were also starting to see employment numbers slipping. In fact, I reported even the Federal Reserve chairman was concerned that the high interest rates were starting to hurt the jobs market. That was one of the reasons why the Fed cut interest rates by half a percent just a few weeks ago. Now today, we see this strong jobs report and we'll have to see what the inflation report says next week, but there is no recession. So therefore with a strong jobs market and lower inflation, that's how you get to a soft landing. If you want to read this jobs report for yourself, I will email it out to you tonight in my Newsgirl News Roundup email, so make sure you sign yourself up.